Hey guys and welcome back. So in this part we're going to go ahead and start blocking this um, next finger out. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is, as most of the time, we're going to start off with a cube. Um, more like a rectangle. And just drag out some width. And now I'm just going to zoom in, turn on X-ray, and I'm going to go ahead and scale this down roughly around there. Okay, so roughly the same size as that one. Now I'm going to go back into my side view, turn off X-ray, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate and actually we're going to go ahead and rotate this so it fits in there so quite a bit more than our reference but that's fine because we'll be able to adjust this later on so it's going to rotate a bit more I think that's nearly there. And I'm also going to go ahead and scale it down a bit. I might have to go ahead and actually make this bit bigger. So I'm going to select all of these, just move them out a bit more. So this bit don't have to be that small. Just gonna turn on. Actually, it's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate this a bit more. And this should do the trick. So now that we have that, well, it's basic position. I'm gonna go ahead and isolate this go into our front view and I will actually isolate it with this piece so I isolate both go into our front view and I'm just gonna turn on the wireframe so I can see what's going on and we're gonna go ahead and add in two loops so we're gonna need our insert edge loop tool and we're gonna add a loop in here and we're also going to add one in here and also going to add one around here like so okay so once we have that I'm just going to select this piece and isolate this one and I'm going to go ahead and select these four faces and delete them because we don't need them and now I can just go ahead and fill up this hole by extruding this Turn offset to zero and drag it to about there. And then now I'm just going to use my merge vertex tool to snap these and then select these two edges, extrude, turn off the offset to zero and drag them up both. And then now we can use our merge vertex tool again. If I find it, it's funny how I use that tool all the time, but sometimes I still struggle to find it, even though I shouldn't really. Right, so now we have that sorted. We're going to go into our side view and isolate. And I'm just going to go ahead and. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab this and just push it down a bit. We're going to grab these and pull them, well actually, pull them up just a bit. Okay, so we've got our basic outline. Next thing we're going to do is, we're actually going to have to, I think, again, we're going to go ahead and cut this in half. And get rid of this end 
and we're only going to work on one okay it will make our life a little bit easier so I'm going to select two of these and bevel them actually not them I'm going to select these two and these two and bevel these actually not them let me just check my reference one sec right okay you're gonna bevel these two I think right so I'm back sorry about that uh, I've gonna actually bevel these are two edges, I think. Hopefully this one is the correct one now. Right. And we're also gonna turn up the offset, so we're gonna round this out basically. And we're gonna use three segments. Right, there we go, that's better. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab these edges and we're gonna delete them. So them two and them two. And then for this bit, we're just gonna use our interactive split tool. And we're gonna make a cut from here to here, from here to here. And this last one. And we're also gonna do the same thing on the other side. like so okay so now that bit is rounded off now um, the next thing we're going to do now that we got our basic shape uh, we actually can go ahead and start adding in the um, extra edge loops that we need so the first thing we're going to do is start off with um, these two pieces and go ahead and extrude them with a not point not one offset, I think maybe less than that. Not point not not five. Yep, that will do a trick. Okay, and we're going to use technique that we use quite a lot. We're going to use our insert edge loop tool. Okay, we're going to add it somewhere about there, and use our merge vertex tool to start merging these together. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing on the other side, and that one will go like this, and we can go ahead, select that edge, also select that edge, delete, and you're going to do the same thing here. All right. So now we're going to have to go ahead and add in the edge loop that goes around but before that I'm just going to go ahead and straighten this out, make sure I got everything selected, or the whole loop and I'm just going to use my scale tool like so and also move a bit closer. Okay. So now you're going to use our insert edge loop tool. You're going to add a loop here and also a loop here. And I'm just going to use the interactive split tool to make a cut from here to here and a cut from here to here. And hopefully our loop went all the way around. It didn't because we're missing that, um, that face. But that's fine, we'll use our insert edge loop tool again. Add one in here, add one in roughly there. Interactive split. And I'm not gonna go ahead and snap these up so they perfectly line up. Um, it's not gonna cause us any problems. Okay, so we've done this bit, we've done that bit. And now we're just gonna have to go ahead and do our usual edge loops and we should have this piece nearly created. I'm going to try to squeeze this in before we end. Hopefully we can finish this up. 
Okay, so that goes in here. Right, so you got them loops, them loops, them loops. Uh, let me just check around here. Got those loops. Don't need any loops here. We're going to need a loop here. And basically, you are done. So let me go ahead and smooth this, see how it's looking. Turn that off. And it seems like we're missing a loop here. Um, let's go ahead and add it in. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Let me just check. Just going to go ahead and move this loop a little bit closer. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and add another one in here. Like so. And let me just see how this is moving. I'm going to go ahead and add another one in here as well, just to make this a little bit sharper. Alright, so that's looking pretty sweet. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this and scale X minus and we're going to move them close together in my front view. Okay, select the two, mesh, combine, and then unisolate, isolate again. Select vertices, all the middle ones, merge vertices, probably not point, not one should do. It probably didn't do it. Let me just have a look. Nope, so I'm just going to undo. Merge vertices and we're going to increase this to 0 0.05 apply and that's going to be way too much so let's try 0 0.03 okay that seemed like it done the trick so now I'm just going to go around and it is too much as you can tell here so let's go back and try 0 0.025 that's too little. Not point not two eight. Come on, there we are. Okay, hopefully that done the trick. Let me just look around. They look fine. These look fine. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I can go ahead, select this loop and delete. Let's move this. And we basically got this piece created as well. Let's just unsmooth and see how it's looking. It looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and go to um, gonna edit, delete all by type history. And I'm also gonna go to modify center pivot, press insert. In my side view, I'm going to go ahead and move this up to about here, okay? And then what this will let me do is now I can go ahead and rotate this and see if it would interfere with the mesh, okay? So this is how his hand would be moving. And if I isolate these two, Let's just make sure I can see what I'm doing. Go to rotate X. Start rotating this. Just checking if that is interfering with the mesh, but it isn't. So I can go ahead and just move it a tiny bit so not too much. And also, it seems like that in here. We got too many loops going on. Let me just go ahead, go 
get rid of this, see what happens. It's a little bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and come back to this and go ahead and rotate X again. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so there's Wally's hand done. So I'm just going to go back. Well, not all of it. I'm just going to go back, rotate this back where it's supposed to be. And in the next couple of parts, we'll be finishing up this hand. So we'll add in the screws in here. Um, we'll go ahead and create this joint piece as well. Hopefully it won't take us too long. And then finally our arm and hand will be finished. We can duplicate it over and we'll probably go ahead and tackle this area, the back area, or probably in the threads. So this is the last part in this part. So you guys can go ahead and comment um, and let me know what you guys want to see next um, so if you guys want me to um, go ahead and finish this area up here in the next couple of parts or the back after we finish the arm obviously or you guys want me to go ahead and leave this back bit and the top bit for now and go straight into the threads or if you guys want me to go ahead and finish this top body area and the back area, let me know in the comments and then um, I'll be focusing on those parts in the next couple of parts, okay? So thanks for watching guys, I will see you guys in the next, I don't know how many parts, hopefully not too many. <laughs> so see you guys then.